This weekend, I competed at Pro Raw 12. Uh, Pro Raw is a powerlifting competition that's held here in Melbourne um, by Marcos and Emad. And it's a competition that's not sanctioned by any powerlifting federation, if you've never heard of it. It's a competition uh, that is invite only and um, one designed to maximize competition. Um, the organizers, yeah, Emad and Marcos put up, I think over $20,000 worth of prize money across the different weight classes. And the idea is to make things as competitive as possible. Uh, so one of the things I really like about it is the fact that there's uh, very few weight classes. In the men, there's only five weight classes and in the women, there's only three weight classes. And the idea is that, well, with less weight classes, then the pool of talent gets, um, uh, gets deeper in each of the classes. Anyway, if you've been following me for any length of time, you obviously know that I have been competing with Powerlifting Australia and IPF for a very long time, um, or at least competing in those type of competitions. So that means we use a 20 kilo barbell for all three lifts. It means we squat out of a mono, uh, out of a combo rack. It means that we bench press out of the combo rack. We deadlift on the same bar, the stiff bar. Um, we wear knee sleeves when we compete. So all these conditions uh, is what I'm used to. I've done uh, 30 competitions, 30 powerlifting meets myself and coached at 300 of them. But I've never done a competition that was like Pro Raw. Pro Raw uh, use um, different rules. So namely, knee wraps are allowed, knee wraps up to 2.5 meters. Uh, you squat out of a monolift, which is a big uh, squat rack essentially that moves out of the way for you where you don't have to walk back. Um, they use a 25 kilo bar for squat, which is a little bit thicker. They use a thinner, longer bar for deadlifts, a deadlift bar. Um, the bench press is different. There's a number of different, uh, uh, I, sp I suppose, conditions that I'm not used to. Um, but I got invited to Pro Raw, and the political scene of powerlifting here in Australia hasn't been very good for a little while. And I thought, hell to it, why not? Why don't? Why not? Let's do something different. Let's go for a challenge. So, um, with that in mind, I entered, and um, I have to say, it was an absolute blast. So uh, this is essentially my recap for the weekend. On the videos that have come, and you can read the description to find out how all the single lifts went. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with the exact details because you can check that out in your own time. But what I do want to talk about is just the experience in general. I have to say that I haven't been this excited to compete, or I hadn't been this excited to compete in a very long time. I hadn't, um, you know, the novelty, I suppose, was really exciting for me. So it really, uh, I guess, lit a fuel, lit a fire in my belly for my training. My training was really, really good. About six weeks out, I was planning to compete at this comp in the 75 class in a different, I suppose, division, but then decided well, why don't, why don't I enter the Pro Raw proper, the Pro Raw 12? And the weight class there is 80. Pardon me. So six weeks out, I was 76 kilos, ready, getting ready to compete at 75. And I changed to the 80 class, and I thought, well, I don't want to give up you know, body weight to these, to these guys that I'm going to be competing against. So I was eating heaps. I ended up weighing at 79.5, and I had, actually had to watch my weight the last few days because I got over 80 some mornings. But I was eating into this competition. I was training hard. It was it was really really awesome experience, and uh, the prep was I, I I mean, and the competition itself was great. Uh, it was run really smoothly. I performed at a really high level, which I'm really really happy with. My squats were awesome. My bench I was a little bit disappointed with, um, missing my second. And yeah, I want to quickly talk about my deadlifts. So deadlifts went really well. The two guys that were above me, uh, Tommy and Ben, were based on openers well ahead of me. Um, so I wasn't really worried about trying to pip them. I was happy to come third anyway from the start of the day. But then Tommy kind of hurt his adductor in his squats and he, and, you know, we kind of bonded during the, during the squats and bench press and stuff. And, and he, you know, it wasn't a, like a bitter kind of rivalry or anything. And he was just being really open and honest saying like, I don't know if I can even deadlift. So we'll just have to see what happens. So that kind of opened a bit of a doorway as to, okay, maybe I can kind of sneak in here and, and maybe come second. Ben also had a pretty rough day. He only got two squats and only got one bench, um, which again is just kind of another little opener, like a little, another little open door into potentially moving my way up, up the, up the placings. Anyway, Tommy was able to deadlift, which was great, and he finished with a seven thirty five total. And Ben only got two deadlifts, uh, leaving him on a seven hundred and forty kilo total. So in order to win, um, I had to do a three hundred twenty two point five kilo deadlift. I'd already done three ten on my second attempt, and it was really, really easy. Um, it was, I I've watched it maybe a hundred times already, and I feel like it was one, it is one of the best deadlifts I've ever executed. And um, I don't think it's bragging to say that I've got pretty good deadlift technique. I have very, very, 
uh, stable technique. But even I think it was really, really good. So I was stoked with that. And when I, we did the maths and or when you know Ben missed his third attempt to say, and I only needed, you know, quote unquote, only needed 322 and a half to, to win, I was full of confidence. I was like, this is mine. This is well within reach. This was part of the competition plan anyway. Um, so it was a very natural attempt. I could have taken 317 and a half to come second. And um, an important note that I haven't mentioned is that the prize money distribution, there's over $20,000 worth of prize money that goes into these competitions. First place wins $2,000, second place wins $1,000, and third place wins the nice, you know, third place trophy, nothing, no money. But with that, with that in mind, I suppose, 317 to come second or 322 and a half to come first, I felt like the only option I really had was to go for first, right? Um, you know, no guts, no glory, I suppose. So we loaded on the bar and um, I don't know, I just, I just mis-executed it. Um, I will say that my execution was nowhere near as good as it was on the second, which was really disappointing. I think that's the most disappointing part of it all. Um, but I'll leave that to you to decide. You can watch it back and uh, you'll notice that as I kind of pull on the bar, I get pulled forward and I'm just not practiced. Like I'd never actually deadlifted on a Texas power bar, a Texas deadlift bar. I think that's what it was on the day. And I'd only done one session on the deadlift bar this whole prep and well basically ever I don't think I've ever trained on a on a deadlift bar until this this cycle so um I was just def just out of practice well not out of practice I was just completely unpracticed so that's not an excuse and I mean I guess in some ways it is a justification or an excuse but I guess just reasoning for you guys so you guys understand where that's coming from um before we go through the lifts which I'm just going to let them play on their own so you're not hearing me talk over them. Uh, the quick formalities, thank you very much to everybody that was involved in this competition, in my prep, in my training as well. Um, I want to thank Matt uh, and Brad for um, handling me on the day. I want to thank the organizers, Marcos and Emad. All the volunteers were great. The referees were so kind. I want to thank the whole community who were actually really, really uh, sweet to me. I will admit that I was a bit apprehensive because this is a community that I've never been part of. I've never really had any affiliation with any members or um, I suppose people in the, I guess you could say GPC, Pro Raw, Capo kind of scene, but I felt really, really welcomed, which was amazing. Um, you know, thanks to everyone uh, at the gym, uh, at TSF that support me. Obviously, thanks to my fiance, Billy, for supporting me through this whole prep. Um, thanks to Ronnie, who's my myotherapist, who made sure that I was in good shape. Thanks to Don, Dan Godiasi, Dan Godiasi, who was a physio on the day, who I who really, really helped me uh, make sure that I was in good shape. So thanks to everybody that was involved in this performance. Um, I'm sure there's a couple more that I'm missing. And if I've forgotten, I'll put them into the description box below. Um, but yeah, enjoy the lifts. Thanks very much. And I'll talk to you next time. Nice. 